Hey everybody, Charles Hill from Black Halo Racing here again. Today I wanted to take a minute to talk to you about the factory motor mounts, known failure point, and how to easily check to see if your mounts are bad without any tools. Uh, what I have here to my left is a factory aluminum motor mount arm from the right side of the engine. The exhaust manifold passes through this area here, and I have a factory motor mount that's in pretty good shape. It's not exactly brand new, but it's new enough for purposes of this video. How this mounts on the engine, this mounts on the chassis, they go together and there's a bolt that goes in through the top. I'm not going to install that right now, but what you're seeing here is a rotation limiter tab inside the window. And what will happen over time is that as the motor mount area here softens and collapses, this tab will rise up in the window. And when you feel vibration and rattling in the dash, the car feels like you're, you get some noise in the cabin and the uh, drivetrain feels a little sloppy. That's generally when this tab is riding right up here at the top and it'll hit that limiter and then the whole dash starts to rattle. All you need to do to check that is climb under the car with a flashlight and in this case, like I said, this is the passenger side mount. You can get in there from uh, the wheel well and take a look and shine a flashlight right down here and your view would actually look something like that and you'll see that tab when it starts hitting the top of that window or getting pretty close, you're in need of some new mounts. If you were to mount a brand new black halo motor mount in place, it would mount like that and there's no tab to be bothered with because now you can see the bushing. In the event that your bushing wears out, you'll see it smash down, but that doesn't tend to happen. So this is how that fits on there. But today's point was when your tab gets up in the window, then you know you got a problem. If you look, one last look here, you can see that this mount did have a problem with the uh, motor mount wearing out because there was a little bit of tab rubber right there worn in. So that's how that works. Thanks for tuning in. Nice little quick video for you all, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.